TCM Shop. Yes, there are thousands in our family. Their work is an integral part of what will be the best picture of the year and of every picture of every year. The award that is about to be given then is a tribute to each and every one of them. The best motion picture is... Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Thanks for joining us for more of our 31 Days of Oscar Festival. Right now, for your pleasure, or at least we hope it's your pleasure, we're going to show you the five films which were nominated for the Oscar for 1940 in the category of Best Original Screenplay. Another chance for you to check out all the contenders in one category and let you decide if you think the Academy voters were right when they chose the final winner. Our next batch of films were written at a time that the attention and concerns of the world were focused on the unrest concurrently going on in Europe. And indeed, most of the films nominated for Best Original Screenplay for 1940 deal in some way with political matters and or international intrigue. The nominees include Foreign Correspondent, The Great Dictator, Angels Over Broadway, Dr. Ehrlich's Magic Bullet, and the winner in that screenplay category, The Great McGinney, written by Preston Sturgis, which is our next movie. It's also the film that turned Preston Sturgis from one of Hollywood's top screenwriters into one of the movie industry's hottest directors. It also brought him his first and only Academy Award. Now, back in 1940, it was almost unheard of for a writer to direct his own script. That just wasn't done under the old studio system. But after a decade in Hollywood, Preston Sturgis was tired of seeing other directors, in his opinion, ruin his scripts. So he made an offer to his bosses at Paramount that they really couldn't refuse. He sold them a screenplay he'd written that the studio really wanted to buy, but charged them only $10. But there was a catch. They had to only pay $10 for it, but Sturgis had to be allowed to direct it. The script was a story Sturgis had been working on for years, all about a down-and-out bum named Dan McGinty who gets swept up in the world of politics and ends up in the governor's seat. Paramount reluctantly said yes to the writer's conditions, and you know what? A great new director suddenly entered the ranks. Well, here's the movie starring Braun Donlevy and Akeem Tamiroff and a whole group of actors like William Demarest, who would later form what became known as the Preston Sturgis Stock Company. Here's the great McGinty. Thank you. 